Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mortal Joy Fish video. Now we got some pyro gameplay in the background and that obviously fits the theme of today's video. Today's video we're talking about how OP or how strong the pyro kit is now in Bed Wars. And if you, unless you've been sleeping under a rock, you know this kit got buffed Friday and it was a pretty big buff. So we're going to talk about the buff and whatnot in the video and just about how I play the kit, uh, how strong it actually is. And, uh, yeah, stuff like that. On that note, I do make Bed Wars content almost every day, so make sure to like and subscribe for more Bed Wars content. On that note, into the video. Now, as we get some more gameplay rolling in here in the background from the other day, whatever, when I was playing Pyro a lot, I still am playing Pyro. It's, it's one of my favorite kits still to this day. Uh, but anyways, before we get into how OP this kit is, or if it's OP at all, uh, I wanted to go over those buffs that they made, uh, just so we can get why we're kind of revisiting this kit, why we're re-talking about it, and just kind of reevaluating it. Uh, so yeah, these changes are very big, very big, and they've changed the kit entirely as a whole. So, pyro changes. You now keep your embers upon death. This is probably the biggest change making pyro really, really, really good. Uh, so before, you know, you would be in a fight, you'd be flame throwing people, you get like three embers and you'd be like, no, let me upgrade, let me upgrade. And then as you're trying to upgrade and you're going in the flamethrower menu and stuff, you get murdered and you lose your three embers and you're like, well, all that work was a waste of time now, wasn't it? <laughs> so anyways, now you can go in as deep in a fight as you want, blast in people, get the embers, die and you're good. Now, if you do die... Now, if you do light them on fire, then you die, and during your death part where you're waiting to respawn, if they die, you're not going to get any embers. So, try to make it, try to make it till they die, preferably. Uh, but yeah, basically you can keep your embers now. That's super nice. The next thing is they significantly reduced the cost of upgrades. Uh, the upgrades are a bit cheaper. It's like one, three, and then one, two, three, or something like that. Now they're relatively cheap. We're not going to talk about every upgrade cost. Either way, they're relatively cheap, which I'm not sure why they even added this. With getting to keep your embers, why did we need a price redu reduction here? I, I don't know. To me, this was a little overdone. They could probably take this one back, you know, in the next update and be like, hey, Pyro's a bit overtuned, let's take that one back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, next thing you know, they got buffed fire damage. Now, I'm happy to see this because before with fire damage, you know, it was kind of just worthless. You basically only ever went for brittle damage. But as you can see in the gameplay here... The fire damage has become well worth it now. It is rather strong. Uh, and we'll, we'll get into that more in the video later. I want to actually talk about whether you should go fire, brittle, or range. Uh, but before we do that, we got to get to the last change. Brittle proc now has 20% armor penetration. This is nice to see because that means when you're brittling people, uh, their armor is not going to reduce that damage as much as it used to, which is super nice for when you want to just light somebody up real quick, switch to a sword, and hit them for that chunk of brutal damage. Now, let's talk about my strategies in the kit and just how OP this kit is. Now that we've talked about the buffs that were made, or changes according to the devs, although I'm pretty sure all those are buffs, um... Let's, uh, let's get into my strategy for upgrades first. So you have the choice between upgrading your brittle, your range, or your fire damage. So yeah, I just want to talk about those real quick because I think they're all pretty viable now with the current way the kit works and uh, the way it was buffed. Sheesh, that respawn play was smooth. Uh, but even though that was smooth, I mean, there's things like this. I mean, I catch myself, you know, I'm like, I'm getting away here, you know. I wanted to get their bed, but I was like, where's my team at? This person, I, I don't know. They should probably, probably just jump over that, but they didn't. So anyways, I get away and somehow they forget that the fish man is at their island. Nobody cares about the fish man. So I'm like, ah, guess I'll take their bed. And then... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Whoops, yeah, we're talking about buff upgrades, my bad. Uh, so anyways, yeah, brittle, fire damage, and range. Now here's my thought process behind this whole upgrading thing because, you know, back in the day it was like, I'm just gonna get range and brittle, you know, because those are the only two viable. Fire damage falls off as soon as they get any kind of armor, but now that it has a now that it has been buffed, you know, it's, it does like one damage at the start and then first upgrades I don't think do anything. Still, they still seem to be semi-broken or maybe I'm just crazy, but they don't ever seem to do anything. So basically you have to get the two, the basically you have to invest three into fire damage to make it good or basically anything. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so here's my, here's my idea. My first thing I like to go with 90% of the time is to rush range. 
Now you're gonna go, why would you rush range when you could get more damage? Well, I've noticed that flamethrower range is rather close. So if you pull out your flamethrower and you light someone on fire, by the time you can actually put that away and pull out your sword, the enemy can hit you. Now you don't really want that because now the flamethrower is not quite the advantage it was if they're getting the first hit. You, does that make sense? So anyways, what I like to do is get the first upgrade to 25%. Doesn't really change much, so you gotta get the next one. So it's like three embers, so three kills. You know, not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal when you have a flamethrower that already brittles people and makes them take 50 damage with a wood sword. You know, you, yeah, it makes sense, right? So anyways, I, I invest the first three into range, so now I have a 50% range. At this rate, you know, you're cleaving people pretty good range. You know, you got like seven eight block range so you can light them up they're running at you you can backpedal a little bit and then right as they get to sword combat you pull out your sword first and then you're ready to fight and you know now you've gotten some fire tick damage they're brittled and the fight just goes your way now the next one is the harder part for me uh between brittle and fire damage so here's my thing if you're really up early game so and the enemies are like in no armor or they're just barely getting into leather armor go with fire damage you're gonna love yourself and you're just gonna love the gameplay of this if you go with fire damage you're gonna start torching these people for like eight damage 14 damage it is actually nutty and then when they put on iron armor they're still gonna take five to six damage if you have like sharpness or just normal it's gonna be like four or five damage a tick and so even then it's like two flamethrower blasts and they're dead so i mean yeah early game unless and then, yeah, so if it's early game, get get the fire damage, enjoy yourselves, have a little fun. Now, if you want to be a team player, or you really like your brittle damage, to me, brittle damage is better later game, because, you know, you brittle them, and then, you know, say they're in diamond, and you can hit them with an iron sword, and they'll do, like, 40 damage. Obviously, that's better late game, but to me, fire damage is better early game, and then, you know, you take, take fire damage early game, I guess what I'm saying. Because it feels a lot stronger and then you can keep people from getting anything done. Brittle is going to force you to get into fights, which is more likely only going to happen later game when they can actually withstand your fire damage. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'd put Brittle as a later game upgrade. Uh, so if they're like in Iron Armor and you know they're about to get Diamond, go with Brittle right away. Uh, and if they're not, go with Fire Damage. That's, that's basically how I feel about it. That's what my brain says to do. And it's been working pretty well for me. I mean... I'm not losing very many games playing like this. It works really good. And I mean, just seeing the fire damage. You're going to see it throughout this entire video. That fire damage is kind of nutty. Okay, so let's talk briefly about how I start games out with, uh, with the old pyro kit. And then we're going to end this video off with how OP do I think it is. So I start the game off with an early game rush. I get 16 iron and I buy two sets of wool. My other offensive teammate's gonna buy the same thing. And then we're gonna have a third guy follow us up with a wooden axe. We're going to rush an enemy's base as hard as we can. Maybe we get the bed, maybe we don't. By the time I die, because I'm going in sword first, building in, you know, I'm gonna die. I already know that. I respawn at the base. By the time I run back to mid for the second time, because we'll build our rush through mid almost every every game, except for very few maps. So by the time I get back to mid, the emeralds are spawning. I'm going to try to snag two emeralds, get back to my base, get the flamethrower. You want to get your flamethrower as soon as possible with pyro, because you want to be building those embers, and you want to get scaling that flamethrower. Scaling that flamethrower is much like a barbarian scaling rage blade. Except we can't lose our embers now, so... It might, maybe we're just a bit better on that note let's let's talk about that in uh, in how op is pyro so how op is pyro in my opinion i think personally the developers are gonna have to go back take a little bit of what they gave this kit away now don't get me wrong i don't want them to take too much because i think the kit right now is in a very fun state but it's in a very, very fun state because it's a little overtuned in my book. Not like overblown out of proportion because I have yet to find a pyro that matches me. But you could tell in a lot of my gameplay, I don't rush my armor, I don't do anything. I'm just constantly trying to get in the fight, tag some people, get some members, and then upgrade my stuff. You know, and so I think for that, mine scales out of control really early, much like a barbarian who is doing really well in scaling a rage blade. The only difference is, is I can't lose my embers. So, you know, in some games, man... I'd be popping off, man, doing arguably more than what I've seen an early game Rage Blade do because I'm just melting everybody with that fire damage. On that note, I do think the devs might have to tone back 
pyro just a tiny bit for the skilled pyro players uh on that note though there's lots of bad pyro players out there i've went up against they just they're not doing anything like close to what you're seeing in my video so maybe it's a skill based thing and maybe it doesn't have to get toned back but maybe it does i think it might have to a little bit skilled players like me are kind of uh kind of abusing it just a little bit just a little bit on that note guys it's time to wrap up this video and so let's thank our members so yeah thank you mama peas redwood deadwood shandy step in and insolence axe lottle all off the top of my head out of memory this time so yeah thank you all for being members it helps out a ton and on that note guys let me know what you think about pyro is it overpowered to you guys how do you feel about fighting against it let me know in the comments below and on that note i will see you all in the next video peace out